Let's talk about Hyun Sao. Hyun Sao is an often underused technique within Gaw Sao. It's a great technique, it has a potential of movement. Generally, Hyun Sao means to circle, and obviously Hyun Sao being hand, circling hand. It's a great potential for moves. It allows you to deal with someone who laps or through your hand, it allows you to stick. It's great for two-hand contact when someone actually has two hands and they're holding both hands, and you can hewn and circle. And in addition to that, it's also a great response to someone, if the jutsu out can't work or it doesn't work clearly or strong enough for you, you can change to hewn. I'm going to go through all of those variations with you and make it a little bit clearer how we apply that. So let's start with the most basic format. One of the things I said to you earlier is that when you're starting in with Munsao forward, one of the things you don't want to do is be in a position where you've got opposite hands to opposite hands because of the risk of the person striking to the eyes or striking forward. In that situation, in that scenario, it's far safer to circle. But in doing so, I don't just simply circle with the wrist. I actually do one of two things. I control the arm with the opposite arm. So I change gates. So I may be in a bad position, but what it allows you to do is to change gates. Now, given the situation that you are with a straight arm, it's far better very often if you feel that to respond into fuck, to stick. So if my partner is in mun, okay, then I stick with foot with my elbow in. From here, as I circle, I feed towards the elbow. It gives me a reference point. It gives me a physical reference point between the wrist and the elbow. I can feel that, but I can also respond. For fighting, that's a great factor because when someone moves, it doesn't matter how big or small the person is, everybody has an elbow. And if I can control that elbow and find it, it allows me to stick and strike and move. There are additional points that you can use Hyun Sao for. Probably for your level at home when you just first start training Wing Chun, is developing or, or defending against Larp Sao. Hyun's an effective technique that can be used to counter Larp Sao. Most of the beginners, including my beginners, often get caught with having their hands fall with someone Larps and they forget to circle their wrist to try to circle or free their hand. It's an intrinsic part of the Wing Chun system. If you look at the form, very often we're training circling, strengthening the wrist and focusing our power towards the wrist. So if we look at this from a scenario where we've got the back of our hands, we're crossed in a classic starting position. My partner goes to LARP. The best defense that I've got at the moment is to circle my wrist. It's the simplest, easiest method to respond to the LARP cell. As he LARPs and he turns his fingers to grab and wrap around, I circle the wrist to free the hand. So if he goes a little bit quicker, it's one. If it's a little bit quicker, it's two. It's very difficult for him to get the grip on the wrist because as he tries to get the grip on the wrist, I'm circling. A couple of factors on this. Try to remember to keep your elbow in. Don't let your elbow drift out because if your elbow drifts out, okay, it's much easier for it to catch your wrist with the thumb because the elbow's out becomes a weaker shape. With the elbow in, the strength goes to the wrist and therefore makes it much more compact when I circle and free the hand. So a simple LARP can be defeated, go, or countered by circling the wrist. How you move is to hit afterwards. So if he LARPs, I can hit. If he LARPs, I can free the hand just by circling and getting the hand free. Hyun is also effective in a double outside gate position. Like Jut Sao, Hyun Sao, when on the outside, allows us to circle and control the person's arms. So if I create a double outside gate position by jumping and jumping and creating a double outside gate position, it doesn't matter how I get the position. The main thing is at the moment, I'm on the outside of both arms. Hyun Sao allows me to circle. It allows me to circle and hit. And with two hand contacts, if I circle with one, I can also strike with the other as well. Striking with the other, allows me to deflect attention from one arm by actually circling and applying pressure on that and then creates an opportunity for the free arm. So very often, if we're in this position here, one of the things I like to often do is to hit at the same time, change, change and respond with some sort of uh, follow-up. Now, Hyun is a classic inside-outside gate movement as well. I go from the outside gate to the inside of the arm, as opposed to trying to move completely around the person where I can be shut off. If my arms are on the outside, I can contain my partner's arms by keeping my own elbows in and condensing the strength of my back and rounding onto them. So in doing so, Hyun allows me 
the opportunity to move and circle around the hands. So as I circle, it creates an opportunity to hit, rise, change, strike, chop, move, and hit the person. But the most important thing is the fact that I can open him up and create a straighter, more intensive line towards the center of the body. So we've already established that Hyun Sao is a great movement from two out, a double outside gate contact. In other words, just to reiterate, when you've got two arms on the outside of the arm, it's a great technique to work. But sometimes you might be in a position where you actually punch or you want to punch the guy, but you can't actually get to the position to do that. Hyun Sao is a great link move to actually allow you to hit high. Theoretically, very often, Wing Chun students will circle and hit low. That's where you see it in the form, where you circle and hit low. In fact, as I circle and hit low, he can often circle around that, and that gives me an opportunity to hit high. So as I circle, I can switch high. As I circle, I can switch high, because he's physically moving around me, which allows me the opportunity to strike and go through and hit back. But another practical way of using Hyun Sao is the bridge. If you think about it, if I can't punch the guy because he's blocking his arm or he's potentially always blocking, Hyun Sao allows me the ability to go in because as I punch, it allows me to open. So I don't always hit low. I may bridge and hit high, strike, move, perform and follow through. So Hyun, just to recap, is a circling movement which I can actually get some bridge and some contact with two arms. So whether I go in one, whether I go in two, whether I move around, I can always open, hit, slap, strike, but get it with a circle, set it up with a circle and a movement behind the wrist. Boom. In my opinion, I think Hyun has a great self-defense move. It's a great move for self-defense, especially when you're trying to bridge against an attacker or a fighter who has a short bridge with his hands back. The reason being, is that if he has his hands back, it's quite difficult to get hold of his arms. If you can manage to get in and create a stick by hitting into the arm, you can create a situation where you can slap, strike and open up. So you can use two hands effectively. Now it's very similar to the last point where I mentioned you punch, you open with the hewn and you hit. But given that we actually start from a, from a close position, we're actually facing each other, gives me the option if his hands are up and slightly forward that I can actually make contact and now with a double hand contact I can either hewn and hit with this, hewn and hit with that but if I do it quickly and successfully one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it gives me a great opportunity to actually take control bridge and hit the guy before he can actually respond. So effectively I overpower him with speed one okay, and the ability to open and you can see Naturally, Matt's doing this. His arms are being opened. Okay, they're being stretched. And as they're being stretched, he's exposing his neck by pushing his shoulders down because he's tensing, he's panicking, he's doing this, it's depressing. Once he does that, Hyun works effectively to change into a chop. So if I was trying to do a Hyun sound, the guy was too strong for me, then effectively I chop off. I just change the wrist shape from the circle by turning the wrist and the elbow out, I chop straight to a straight line to the throat. So it's a great move. It's a great move because the hewn doesn't work. I have a valid technique, whether I change to a chop or even a jut. Because sometimes you get to this situation, you try to circle, the guy's too strong for you, you can jut, then chop. So you can now create a situation where you circle around, he's too strong, you can chop, you can jut and chop. It's really dependent on what you feel, how strong he is, where he places his arm. If his arms are slightly wider, jut cell would be the better option because it retracts and brings his arm back to the center. If his arms are towards the center, if I've created a double outside gate and I'm trying to set up with a hyun in that position it was quite easy, but I'm trying to set up, then from this position a straight chop's fine because he's narrow to the center, chop's gonna go around. If he's slightly out, Jut Sal will give me a better position to control. So just to recap, Hyun Sao is a great self-defense move because you can bridge, overpower people with speed one and move in and control them quite quickly. If it goes wrong for you and you find that you've got a struggling scenario, which very often in an outside gate scenario, you're going to have a struggling scenario. You've got arms on the outside. 
you can change the situation from here quickly to a jut sow. Or just pull the wrist back, and create a chopping knife hand where you're throw chopping and you're going for the throw. And look again, mats like this. Very often when you're using these circling and striking rising shapes, it exposes the jaw, allows you to strike to the throat, the soft, soft underbelly of the skull.